Good morning, Broncos. Here's a quick announcement. All juniors next Wednesday, March 1st, is our SAT school day. All juniors will be taking SAT during school. The scores are portable to your selected colleges and universities. Please make sure to be here on time. Yearbook and yearbook ads are still on sale through Ms. Fig and the yearbook staff. Please make sure to see them for more information. Good morning. My name is Nicola Brew, and today I'll be bringing you your senior announcements. Yearbook deadlines are quickly approaching. If you haven't already taken your senior pictures, you have until Friday, March 3rd. Please choose a jacket or shawl picture or one will be chosen for you. Please check your emails on instructions on how to submit your baby pictures, your senior quotes, and your senior breakfast pictures. Finally, the deadline to order your cap and gown is February 28th. The link to order can be found in the email from Ms. Vincent. On Tuesday, February 21st, the boys baseball team humiliated Somerset 21 to 1. They played their next five games on the road before returning home on March 10th against Hialeah Miami Lakes at home. This Monday, the girls flag football team opens the season at home against Keyscape. Tickets will be on sale on GoFan. For any interested or returning players, there will be a boys soccer meeting after school on March 2nd in the auditorium. This meeting is to discuss off-season conditioning and requirements. Next Thursday, March 2nd, the girls softball team plays their first home game against Ferguson. I'm here with BTV's own and entering her final season as a shortstop for Homestead. Alejandra Ibarra. All right, Alejandra. Entering your final season, what is going through your mind? Um, I definitely just want to show out for my team and be able to make a good season for us. What are your expectations this season? I definitely want to win. What game are you most looking forward to this season? Definitely they out there. How do you think you guys are going to do this season? I think we're going to do great. I think we're ready. All right, What's up, Bronco? This is Mark Armstrong, and I'm here with your Black History announcements. First things first, the Black History Show tickets are on sale now. When you get a chance, please go buy them. Also, if you are still interested in being on the Black History Show, please email Ms. Vincent so we can get you in the auditions. Thank you. Okay, Destiny, so off the top of your head, what's your favorite Black History fan? Uh, I don't really have a fan, but my favorite like, Black History person is Rosa Parks because like, she's a leader, something that some of y'all are not. Because, because it's like she told them that she's not going to be sitting in the back of the mud, she's going to be in the front because she works a long, hard day. But isn't that ironic that a lot of Black people sit in the back of the mud? I'm here with Sir. So sir, what's your favorite black history fact? That I have a dream speech about Dr. King. What do you like about the speech exactly? It gave us all equal rights. <laughs> it gave us equal rights. Yeah. yeah, he wanted equal rights in the speech. That's what he is. Well thank you. Nosbury Farm was closed Saturday due to Travis Graff assaulting his parents, Herbert and Rachel Nos Graff, the farm's owners. It is believed the attack stemmed from Travis not wanting his mother to be his caretaker slash legal guardian anymore after suffering a traumatic brain injury as a teenager. Mr. Graff suffered injuries to the head while Mrs. Graff is currently at Jackson South Medical Center in critical condition. Travis has been arrested and charged while the Nosbury Farm was opened on Monday. Good morning, Broncos. My name is Sanaya Fillmore, and I'm here with... Hey, I'm Ms. Christopoulos, your new media specialist or librarian. 
Hi, Ms. Christopoulos. I have a couple of questions for you today. To begin with, I want to know, how does it feel to be an official Homestead Bronco? I'm so excited to be here, Miss Fillmore, and I just love being a Bronco. Well, I wanted to know, what jobs have you had other than being our official librarian? Well, I have been a teacher, an assistant principal, a principal, and lastly, I was the director of Project Upstart for the school district. Okay. Well, do you read any books in your pastime? Of course. I love reading, and I invite you to come down to the Media Center. Right now, I'm reading Viola Davis's Finding Me. Excellent book. We know Viola Davis can act, but boy, she can write as well. <laughs> well, other than that, what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, what I really like to do is go out with my dog, Mr. Milos. Here he is. And he has his own Instagram account, Mr. Milos. So please follow him. But other than that, I like being out on the water, fishing, boating, anything outside. All right. And since we love having you here so much, is there a message you would like to send to all students and staff? Sure. I want everyone to know that the Media Center is open. Please stop by. We have launched a new program during lunch. It's called Board Games and Books. And we have all your favorites. Connect Four. We have Chess, Checkers. We have everyone's favorite, Uno. So please come on by the Media Center during your lunch and stop by and, you know, read, enjoy our books, and meet me and Mr. Milos. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day, Bronco.